What's up, Internet? I'm George Edward, and today I want to talk to you about why you should be printing your own work. Silk on your dress, fingerprints on your neck. I'm a prince, I'm a king, I'm the fall, I'm the spring, I'm your favorite thing. It's a dangerous thing. I've been taking photos seriously for roughly like three and a half, four years now. Uh, and it was only in the past year that I actually started printing my own work. Last summer, summer of 2020, I had a photo that I thought really stood out. It did really well on Instagram. I got a couple thousand likes and it really pushed me to potentially push my work into a different area. So almost overnight, I created a website on Squarespace linked right here or right here somewhere. I started selling prints. And sold a couple, right? And just really just kind of did loose offerings of prints, uh, but learned so much in that journey. So the first reason I think it's so important to start printing your own work is just because of the level of validity it'll bring to your work. Getting the print, seeing it, looking at it, it really just adds to this kind of process and it puts your work in a different light, most likely in a light you've never seen it before. I myself can spend hours editing images. And when I'm editing those images, right, I'm looking at them on my computer monitor and I'm staring at them for hours, doing color correction, getting it to a point where I think the print is ready, right? Or the image is ready to post or put it wherever I think I want to put it. Now that said, right, you can have the colors refined to a certain degree, but until you actually get that image on paper and see what it looks like, you don't really know what the final product, so to speak, is. Because for so many in photography today, there is no final product. The final product is a post on Instagram, myself included. A lot of my images don't get printed. I post it to Instagram and I kind of move on. That's its lifespan, right? Once you get that image printed and you see it on paper, something actually kind of happens and you'll start to kind of evaluate your work a bit differently. That being said, number two is you'll critique your work way differently. Until I started printing my work, I never really realized how much of my critiquing process was kind of left out. There's a lot of decisions that go into actually building what this print will look like. It'll really kind of determine who you think you are as a photographer, which could grow and change in time. And that tangible form, depending on who you are as an artist, helps. And for me, it really helps to kind of see my final vision on paper. So I can determine what I think it is I was trying to kind of profess with this image, uh, what emotions I was looking to evoke or whatever. It really helps you kind of narrow that down. And then to kind of play off of that, Number three is it helps you become your own fan. When you see your work and you use it and you put it in your living space, something else kind of happens. You now are motivating yourself. I have multiple kind of pieces around my room from multiple different artists that in some way, shape or form inspire me, right? Like I have that print in the background, which is for saving you a fundraiser. What I do have also in multiple different places in my apartment, some of my images hanging up. I have one, two there and one in the hallway and they help and oftentimes just seeing it, right? There's gonna be days where you wake up and you don't feel like taking photos. There's gonna be days where you wake up and you feel like you have impossible syndrome and you don't really know what you're doing if, if you can really do this or whatever and then when you get to a point and then you see your own work hanging up and you're like wait a minute I love that image I took that I'm the one who made that kind of acts as like this self-motivator because you know you are capable of doing this and so you see it there you're hanging up and you start to kind of become your own fan as well and so when you have those you have them in your own space you can use them to encourage yourself to kind of continue to go out, to continue to make work like that, because that's the goal, right? We want to take images and we want to express ourselves and we want to make more. So if we have them around us, we can kind of continue to always digest them, take what we like, remove what we don't like, and put that in our next image. And hopefully the next print just gets better and better and better until we're mecca multi-million dollar photographers. <laughs> or whatever the goal is, right? Until we get to a point where we feel like we've achieved what we've been looking to achieve. And lastly, and this one's not because you need to make money off of it, but it's because you will be surprised. People will buy it randomly. Images you don't even know you love or you might not like. Uh, I sold one print of an image that's okay. I didn't really love it, but someone loved it and they bought like a really large scale print of it and so be it. And that's kind of what happens, right? you'll kind of interact with people, whether it's friends or people you've never even met, depending on your Instagram following or your social media presence, that will kind of stumble upon your website. And every once in a while, you'll be surprised because you'll sell a print. I myself have only sold a couple dozen, but that alone has given me a lot of confidence in my kind of photographic abilities. Because I know that like, I can trust my eye and there are people out there that like this. And I know that my work is living and breathing on their wall in their living space across the country. And that's pretty cool. So the pros, it makes you look at your work in a new light. 
it makes you really critique your own work in a different way. It allows you to become your own fan and allows you to kind of self-promote yourself and to kind of self-motivate, right? And lastly, it allows you to potentially express your work and share your work with others. When I first really started getting into photography and was on photography YouTube channels, I started seeing a lot of videos that were like this. Any of like the main film photography kind of gurus on the space, they all have a video about why you should print your own work. Up until a year ago, I was very much in the same vein, like, okay, cool, of course you say that. Of course you say you should print your own work. But the reason I wanted to make a video like this is to hopefully, to hopefully offer a level of approachability that the other guys may or may not have. For anyone that really wants to kind of potentially take their work seriously, I think it's 100% worth it. You will learn a lot about yourself as a photographer through doing this. You will learn a lot about where you want to be as a photographer, and you will learn the kind of choices and picks and the little nuances that make you and your work so individual to you. And it'll help you build a footprint and an identity that you will carry with you throughout all of your images. But I wanted to offer to you as a novice, just like the rest of us that's going through this journey themselves, my two cents. My two cents are, do it. You will learn a lot, you'll critique yourself even more, you'll love yourself a little bit more, and you'll learn what makes you, you when it comes to your images. And the whole printing process itself is just really cool. Seeing it, having it done, and that aha moment when you get the print just feels really good. I think you should go do it. So just give it a whirl. Try it out. Like it if you like it. Subscribe if you wanna. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.